Nearly five years after filmmakers exploded a bus in downtown Macon without warning, the county says it's taking precautions for another potentially dangerous film shoot. Ashlyn Webb joins us live from Cotton Avenue where that explosion happened. And Ashlyn, you're just a few steps away from where crews are setting up for another film, right? Yeah, and the film production company plans on using controlled and the and the film production company plans on using controlled propane um, uh, propane flames as the saying goes fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me and the county is trying not to get fooled twice. There was a there was a lesson to be learned back then. Who can forget what happened in 2015? Now, another production crew is in downtown Macon setting up to film this month. The contract between Bibb County and Random Productions stands out. On the first page, it states the county has prior experience with being defrauded by film production teams who have discussed in advance the use of small scale, minimal impact pyrotechnic effects, but then deployed large and dangerous explosive effects in downtown Macon, Bibb County. Greg Black, owner at Black Ham and Music Store, wasn't in his business when it happened, but has heard the stories. All the glass was replaced in this building. Um, they were all blown out. The explosion wrecked storefronts and caused thousands of dollars worth of damage. Bibb County says filmmakers never warned them about the bus explosion. Now, a different company, Random Productions, plans to use controlled propane flames downtown, but the county is taking precautions, including asking the filmmakers to collaborate with the fire department on plans for the pyrotechnics. And we've met with them several times in person. We've actually met on site where they're wanting to do it downtown, and uh, we've had kind of the boots on the ground and walked the streets and pointed out exactly where these items will take place. Black says hearing that Bibb County's fire department is involved makes him feel better about pyrotechnics coming to downtown. I appreciate the county demanding the test, but... But what if the flames are stronger than anticipated, he asked. Edwards ensures the fire department and production company has a plan. They're controlled by propane valves. They can adjust how much is discharged, how large the flame is going to be, and so those measures are being taken, and, and we're actually seeing those ahead of time. And under that, under that contract, the fire marshal is allowed to cancel or modify those special effects if it's determined to be unsafe. In downtown Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Ashlyn. According to their schedule filed with the county, filming will happen on 2nd Street, Cotton Avenue, and Mulberry Street Lane and runs through November 16th.